Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale for me jets. And here we have one of my new airplanes flying right now, which I like to call the MiG X1. This is actually a project that I was working on for a while already, probably, I don't know, six months maybe. I actually built the wing, the plane wing with vertical stabilizers on the side only, and was trying to do it on, on, on an ADF. Uh, you know, I put the ADF on the bottom and then put light bodies on the top and tried to fly it, but it was just way too tail heavy. And I really didn't want to build a fuselage over here to put the bodies in front, you know, to get my CG right. So I decided just to put it up then, like a month or two later, I decided to put a super mega jet on the tail, put just one engine, engine back here. And I did that, and then I put my battery on the front and that just make the problem worse. I mean, <laughs> it was extremely tail heavy, m worse than when you have the EDF and the battery on the front. So then I put it up again and, you know, I just left it there. You know, it didn't have a cockpit or anything on it yet and the vertical stabilizers, like I say, they were on the fem. Then a couple of days ago, uh, I have a problem with my MiG, I mean, with the F-15. Uh, one of the servos stopped working on it, and the, the F-15 is actually pretty beat up already. It's, it's no, you know, you can see the wear on the wings and everything. So I decided to take the engine out, and I had to have an, another micro jet around. So I decided to put to get this wing back out of the pile of foam and put the two engines on it. And I put a micro jet in the front and a micro jet on the back. They are actually very old engines. They are probably about a jet and a half or two jet old motors. And well, guys, this actually works very good on it. I went for mending flight, and it flew nice on the mending flight. So I decided to come back around and test it again. But I took the vertical stabilizers of the size and put them in, in right here inside the fuselage, uh, you know, inside of the body of the plane, and that makes it even nicer. You know, it, it was a little bit more smooth, and the roll was better on it. So I decided to leave the vertical stabilizers inside on the second flight, and just decided to go ahead and paint it. Uh, it's actually fun. Foam. It's blue foam. It's two sheets of foam, uh, half inch thick, it's full symmetrical airfoil in it. Uh, I just decided to paint it very nice. Uh, it's brush painted, hand painted basically to, to make it look like wood, but top and bottom. The servos are right there, as you can see right there. Uh, I'm actually I'm proud of myself a little bit here because I'm I think I'm getting better on my paint jobs. So anyway, guys, a uh, nice plane. I'm flying it on a twin lipo batteries to actually you know one for each motor. Uh, these are 1300 milliamps sky lipo rated at 30 or 40C I think. Yeah, 40 C says 40 continuous and 80 burst, but I don't think you're getting that much. Uh, I really don't think that you can really get 80 C's out of these lipos. Um, burst but anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing flies this is gonna be the tour flight on it guys so wish me luck and let's hope everything goes nice on it okay guys we're at the park now and we're ready to fly an airplane that I designed really and I actually like to call it MiG X1 uh, it's all foam looks like wood actually I like that but let's see two micro jets from Grayson Hobby uh, with 220 amp speed control. This is going to be pretty fast, so uh, you can watch it. Okay, that takeoff was bad. It actually scared me a little bit. I thought I was gonna crash it and broke the prop on the front engine. It's a slow radar, guys. I'm starting to look around, making sure that there is nobody around before I punch the full throttle. Coming back around with full power. What's going on me? <laughs> okay, I'm coming back around, guys. Full, tra full throttle radar, guys. Roll. Coming back around again. Ah. You disappeared too much. Full throttle radar, guys. 
he's pretty fast early on, you know. Nice speed on those two metro jets right there. He's not crazy fast that you will lose it, but he's fast enough to keep you on your toes. What is that right there hitting me? Do you know? Huh? Okay. I can't see it. <laughs> okay. Something crawling on me. Coming back around right here. Where are you? I think I need to put some dual rights on this thing. The elevator is way too touchy. Way fast. <laughs> I respond very quick. I need some dual rates and slow down my elevator throw. Exponential on it is good to back around again. <laughs> Are you having trouble recording it? Mm. Uh, when it comes close, I can see it good, but I can't see it far away. Yeah, it's because he's a very a small one. It flies very good guys, it flies very nice. Uh, imagine if we put two super mega jets on this thing. No, that will be fast. Okay, I'm gonna start to bring it slow right now. So we can get it on the camera. Basically, very slow right there. Like one eight of a throttle rally. Very slow on the throttle guys. It's barely touching. Very easy on the throttle. Uh, I won't put it in bear because like I say the elevator is just way too sensitive. And I think I will lose orientation too quick on it. And I don't want to crash it. Ooh. You have a very nice characteristic on a, a slow fly. And actually, let's see if we punch it. If he will respond quick enough to. Bring it around closer. So we can see the response on it. Let's punch it throttle right here. Yeah, he's there when you need it. Okay, my friends, I think I'm going to land it. Landing it is a little bit hard though on this crosswind so let's see if we can get a, a good landing it's surprising me coming in for landing about it yeah mm. it's on the ground <laughs> that's it